Hey everybody, it's Jasmine and today I am going to do a review on the new Shop Miss A Plush Foam Ink Brush Set. Here it is. Super pretty. It's a 10 piece brush set that's going to retail you for $10. I think that's a great deal across the board. $10 brush sets, it's like, hello, of course I need it. <laughs> I, I have actually a lot of brushes and I think that these ones actually, they finalize. <laughs> they finalize my brush collection. Now, you get 10 brushes, you get 10 face brushes as well as 10 eye brushes. And I think that's across the board really, really good. Just for a standard 10 piece brush set, I feel like if I were ever to collaborate with the brand, these are the type of brushes I would put in a little kit. And so I really want to mention that I don't think that these brushes are ideal for liquid or cream products. I know that in a lot of the description for these brushes, they say that you can use it for liquid or cream products, but these brushes are so fluffy, which is a good thing. They're fluffy, they're soft, but with that being said, when you use liquid products, the liquid is going to seep down through the brush and it's going to cause your liquid or cream products to streak on your face. Now, what I do recommend for you know, non-streaky application is actually their sculpting brush set just because it's a dual fiber brush. So if you're looking for something for cream products, definitely look into that. But as for powder products, I recommend this brush set. And I really want to note that these brushes do feel lighter. And I know I'm not one to really talk about the weight of products on my channel, but I know some of you guys are really concerned with that for some weird reason. And so I wanted to note that these brushes are light. I'm taking a guess here and I'm guessing it's because the ferrule is not metal, it's a plastic, and then the wooden handle is, it's, it's, it's very light, it's a light wood. <laughs> but honestly, I don't have a problem with the weight of products. I feel like if the quality is good, then I overlook the weight. I don't know, I, I really don't see the whole point of the weight issue, in my opinion. I just like things to be sturdy and that's it. And so these brushes so far, I don't feel it getting loose. Um, so we'll see um, as time wears on. Um, I obviously don't see any issues now. Now if I were to compare these brushes to any other brushes that I own. The only thing that I found similar in my collection, and I'm being totally honest, I have a whole brush collection video, and the brushes that I found that were most similar were my Marc Jacob brushes. And Marc Jacobs, he's expensive. He is so bouge. He's so bougie, so expensive. And the only reason why I have his brushes is because I got it for my birthday. So, I wanted to compare, just look at these two brushes. I think that this is a dead-on dupe, but you, you, you tell me, okay? So here is the Shot Miss A one, and then here is the Marc Jacobs one. They are the same size. Let's see if it can focus. They are the same size. They have the same density. They're the same shape. But the only thing that is really much really the difference is the price and I'm just saying this is a $10 brush set that brush set that this brush came in was a hundred and thirty five dollars so you tell me I don't know what else to tell you guys other than that these brushes feel very similar to the Marc Jacobs brushes <laughs> but other than that um, I'm just gonna talk about these brushes individually the first brush that's in the brush set is the F21 the plush tapered face brush this is a large fluffy brush perfect for dusting off all types of face powders I use this brush primarily to actually pack on all the powder on my face so today I actually used it for a light veil of powder in the demo I showed you where I did dust off the bake and I also dusted off the fallout from my eyeshadow and I think that this is actually a staple brush just because it's tapered it will fit in all the contours of your face if you were to do an all-over bronze this is a perfect brush for that as well if you're really into body highlighting you could use this brush for that as well it's just a universally great brush and the brush hairs are extremely soft 
The next one that I have is the F23. This is their flat top foundation brush. Here it says it's perfect for a seamless application of liquid cream or powder foundations. Like I said before, I don't think that these brushes are ideal for liquid or cream products, but I do indeed think that these are great for powders. So I did use this with my NYX powder foundation and it packed on my powder seamlessly. I really enjoy packing on my powders and I don't like it when my powders look powdery. Does that make sense? I love powders, but I don't like it when you could notice that there's powder on my face. And I think that this brush gave me exactly what I wanted. I got my coverage, but I didn't get the cakiness. Next one up is the F24. This is their plush blush brush. Say that five times fast. Uh, it is the go-to brush for a flawless application of cream or powder blush. In general, I like my blush brushes to be really big and that will cover a larger surface area because I like my blush application process to be very quick but this is actually one of the only blush brushes that are small that I actually enjoy which is actually really strange because I am never ever the type of person to use small blush brushes and I think that this one actually changed the game for me. The shape of this is actually a universal shape for contouring, for blush, for highlight, you can even pack on your powders with this. I think that this is actually a really great brush. Just small brushes in general are just really good to have in your collection. Here I have the F22. This is the plushed angled face brush. This is great for contouring and precise blending. Now I'm not too fond of these angled brushes just because I've always used one ever since I started makeup so I'm low-key over it. But I mean if you are starting out with makeup it is your basic contour brush and this is one of those brushes that you can apply a bobby pin to the base of the brush and make it into a highlighting brush. It's one of those brushes. And I actually really like this for contouring. It actually picked up a lot of pigment from my butter bronzer and normally when I use my butter bronzer I don't get a lot of pigment. So surprisingly this was the only brush that made me really be wowed by a product that I've already owned and already hit pan on. Here I'm holding the plush tapered highlighting brush. This is F25. It applies and blends out cream or powder highlight for a subtle or blinding shine. And this is actually a really big uh, highlighting brush. If I were to compare it with a brush that I already had, it would probably be one by Sigma. Their soft blend concealer brush, their F64. The Chamisee one is a little bit bigger, but I mean, it gets the job done fairly similarly. I do have to say that it's better for those who are into a more blurred out highlight. If you don't like your highlights to be really blinding and pinpointed, you wouldn't really like this brush. But I mean, depending on the day, like today, I use this brush for my highlight. It just looks a bit more natural and you know, nowadays I'm into natural highlights. I don't know why. Let's move on into the eye brushes. Here I have the E135. This is their eye blending brush. It easily blends out eyeshadows and concealers. This is one of the best eyeshadow brushes I own. And it's crazy because it's literally only a dollar. It reminds me a lot of the brush that I got in one of my Ipsy bags. It's by Fur Less. It's the ME3. I think that these two brushes are very, very similar. And they give me the exact application they feel the same and I'm pretty sure for less is just a little bit more expensive. We have the E136. This is the tapered blending brush. It's great for diffusing the crease and blending shadows. I use this for my outer corner eyeshadows and let me tell you it is probably my new favorite outer corner eyeshadow brush because I never found a brush that was tapered enough but was fluffy enough to blend out the shadow. I don't know it's it's hard for me to find brushes small enough for my small eyes that are actually really, really good and not dense. And this one just did the job. I really enjoy it. So if you have small eyes, you'll probably really enjoy this brush. This brush is a diamond in the rough. This is the E137. This is the shader brush. It's for a firm yet soft blended application of shadows or concealers. When I looked at this brush set, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I thought this brush was going to be my least favorite, but it ended up being one of my favorite brushes because it packs on your shimmer shadows like it's nobody's business. It packs it on so effortlessly as if you applied it with your finger, but at the same time, you're not getting your fingers messy. It blends out 
everything's super nice it's so good I don't know how I don't know why I love this so much like I I feel like I've had a brush in this very similar shape but it never gave me that experience before this gave me something I never had and I love it here I have the E138. This is their detail shader. It's for accurate blending of any small or detailed shadow placement. I actually use this to contour the sides of my nose, as well as blending under my eyes, under my lower lash line, as well as my outer corner. I think that just small angled fluffy brushes like this are essential, especially if you're doing cut creases. You can really define that crease. You know, th this brush is just universal, and I feel like you may not use it every day, but when you need it, it's going to be there. And finally, we have the E139. This is their smudge brush. It's ideal for smoking out your waterline or lash line or for a pop of color in your inner corner. I did not use this brush for any of those details, but I did use it to use concealer to clean up my wing. I like this brush for concealer, in all honesty. It is just the smallest, most precise brush for concealer application. You know, if you're doing a cut crease and then you need the same brush for your lid shade, you could use this brush. I could imagine, yeah, you can use this for the pop of color in your inner corner, but honestly, flat concealer brushes like this, they're a staple. All right, you guys, I wrap up this review. I hope you guys really enjoy. Um, if you're wondering about this makeup look, I am going to have a tutorial on it later this week, maybe on Friday, possibly Friday. And before I go, I wanted to mention that Xiaomi Say is hosting a giveaway for this brush set on their Instagram. It's going to end on Friday at 9 a.m. So I would highly recommend you guys to go enter. There's going to be two winners there. And I'll have their Instagram linked below. And, you know, if you stay till the very end, um, I have a coupon code for you guys that will give you 10% off this brush set once it launches. From the 26th to the 28th, you can use the code That's so Yin 18 at checkout to get, again, 10% off. That's so Yin is spelled with only one S in this coupon code, so be sure to remember that, or you can copy and link the coupon code that's in my description box. So as always, I hope you guys really enjoy, and I love you guys so much. I really do. And I wanted to say that from the bottom of my heart because you guys are literally... What makes me feel motivated every single day and I feel like without you guys to keep pushing me to go forward, I honestly probably wouldn't be here. So as always, I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts.